how to date without stress for success in 2020. I'm Jay Diamond, Love and Intimacy Coach. I help stuck singles find their soulmate and great couples get juicy and reconnected instead of living like roommates. So I want to give you two, two tips today. Um, there's so much we can talk about with regards dating strategy and I have a masterclass on this. Um, where it's like four hours long, <laughs> where we talk about strategy and I answer lots of different questions. Um, but we haven't got four hours, so let's kind of keep this short. And I want to give you two really strong tips that are going to help you a lot um, so that you can really magnetize your soulmate in 2020 quickly and easily because why not, right? So the first one is having an abundance mindset. A lot of the women that I coach, whether it's on my online programs or one-to-one, -one, they have a scarcity mindset, you know, they have been through so much, usually by the time a client gets to me, they've left it until things have just, they feel like, I don't know what to do anymore, <laughs> and they're like, please help me, there's nothing left for me, you know, and we have to do a lot of unwinding and unraveling about that. A lot of the, the ladies that I coach are just fed up with the current dating climate. And listen, I understand. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, this is the best time in the whole wide world for dating. Because some of you will feel like that is true. And some of you are going to feel like that's really not true. But what I'm more interested in is rather than what's going on out there in the dating world and people's expectations, which have changed. So let's, let's, let's not be two ways about it people are more accessible we have people on apps all the time and it gives this illusion of like endless options where the reality is um you're not going to resonate with every single person on a dating app it appears as though there are endless options and then that affects people's behavior and then people's behavior has changed due to the availability of meeting people right but that's all in the strategy. What I want you to really focus on is having an abundant mindset. That means that rather telling yourself the story that there's no, no great matches available, all the good ones are taken, um, you start to shift your belief, your words, your thoughts to that there is plenty. There's plenty of love in the world. There's plenty of available matches. And all you have to do is be open to how the universe can bring that to you, okay? So if you're stuck in a rut that my guy has to be from this place and look like that and have this and have that and be this tall and this colour hair and da 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 you're trying to micromanage God, basically. Micromanage the world. And it, although it's great to have preferences and you should have that, and I do teach that, you should have your preferences. If there's no room for, if there's no wiggle room, you really limit what the universe can bring in. So your partner might not your ideal partner might not even be from the same country as you it might be from or it might be from a different city as you and you meet on a business trip and if you automatically disqualify that person um because they're not on your doorstep you could miss a great opportunity um Having an abundance mindset means that inside your heart, you're telling yourself and you believe that the universe wants for you what you want for yourself. And it does. It really does. Trust me, it does. Often it's only ourselves that block the receiving of what we want to have in our life. So having an abundance mindset when it comes to love means that there are endless options me personally, I don't believe that there's only one true soulmate in the entire planet for you. I believe that we have endless soulmates, actually. But we have a few of those who are divine, comp 
available to be divine compatible life partners because soulmates sometimes are just about your soul's growth aren't necessarily good for you to live with long term and some of you will already have found this out and you'd be like oh that's what it is people are with you for a reason a season or a lifetime and there are a number of beings on this planet who are available to you to receive your love and to give you love and are going to be a great match for you um, and really it's just about being in resonance and choosing really it's about choosing love I choose to deep dive with you in a relationship where we learn how to love where we learn how to live together where we we learn how to create more and more compatibility. Of course, with some people, there's going to be more natural compatibility than others. And um, when we're abundant, we realise that this date that didn't that we thought was going to go right but actually went wrong isn't the end of your love life. You know, when you're in an abundance mindset, you really believe, okay, well, if that's how it is, that's how it is. Good, I'm glad he showed himself now rather than two years down the line and the right one is waiting for me and on we go. Next! <laughs> Next! Because you know that one person, that one date, that one ex, that one person you projected your whole future onto when you'd only been out four times, I'm looking at you, um, is not your only vehicle to love in life. They're just one experience that helped you to feel the love that's already inside of you, you know? So have an abundance mindset. There's plenty of love available. There are plenty of soulmates available. And go into your dating life with that idea. And the second huge topic, which we just, we're not going to go loads into today. Like I say, there's a four-hour masterclass on this. And um, I've got like an eight-week program called Cherish that starts in January. Um, is and we talk about this a lot, and I really drum it into my into my girls. Don't commit to somebody who's not committed to you. I'm going to say it again. Don't commit yourself. Don't cut off your options to someone who isn't committed and invested in you. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see women in particular make they are having a nice time with a guy they think he's great he he thinks she's great but there hasn't been any conversation about commitment the lady is too nervous to talk about it she doesn't want to state what her needs wishes and desires are she doesn't want to scare him off or he said maybe one day but not really right now or I'm not sure or 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 all the different things and she commits herself to him anyway by acting like his girlfriend when he hasn't really invested in her so what happens is he gets all the benefits of a girlfriend without any commitment and so when he feels like changing his mind or he feels like being with someone else because he meets someone else then he goes in that direction and then he quickly reminds you we were never in a committed relationship in the first place. She gets very angry about that. Yet the truth is there was never a conversation about exclusivity. That was never on the that was never on the table. Or it was discussed in such a vague way. Some of you will know this one, that you kind of like, are we together or are we not? I never want you to be in that position, ever, ever, ever. Better to just not be in a committed relationship and to be dating other guys until you find the right one for you that is such a good resonant match that you know you're going to be happy with that person and you can make a choice like, okay, for the next X amount of months, we're going to explore what it means to be exclusive together and whether that feels good and whether we're really a good match um but like that should be a two-way process you know that guy really has to show you that he's invested in you don't be wasting five six seven years of your life on an in-out relationship with someone who just doesn't just isn't going where you're going now if you don't want a commitment then that's fine you'd stay as you are right 
I'm talking to the women who really want to find someone to build with, who want to create a solid life with someone, who perhaps want to create a family or they want a guy who they can really solidly rely on and who's a great leader and um, that they feel they can build something really solid with this guy, you know. I'm talking to you. So there's two really big points. Um, I have, so I use a mixture of dating coaching, which is the kind of stuff we're doing today, and energy clearing, which is an amazing um, self-development tool to help you let go and release of subconscious beliefs that are standing in your way of creating love. So there's the conscious stuff that we know about, we think about, and then often in the back of our minds there's fears or that we've got blueprints from our families that aren't helpful um, or we've got expectations of projections of relationships that are kind of tearing our relationships down instead of building them up. And this work, this energy clearing work helps to remove all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to offer it to you um, complimentary until the 5th of Jan and then after that will be available to purchase. So... Um, yeah, there's, there's, it's available for you for the next few days for free. So there'll be a video around here, link somewhere. Please sign up and enjoy that and let me know how you go. Pop me a message in the comments. Um, it's Jay Diamond from jaydiamond.net. You can go to jaydiamond.podia, P-O-D-I-A, dot com if you want to look at some of the classes that I've got there. Um, and uh, I look forward to helping you on your soulmate journey.